What's up? So one of my favourite franchises in the entire universe in a galaxy far, far away is Star Wars. Very clever. Well done, Harrison. Anyway, one thing I refuse to do is spend $110 on a game that I am not balls to the wall for. Now, there's certain games I pre-order that make me... 40. Excited, you know what I mean? Star Wars Outlaws stunk from the start. I don't know what it was about it. It's because it's got a female lead character. <laughs> no, some of my favorite games are Tomb Raider games. I love that shit for the uh, the gameplay and the incredible world design and amazing storylines that you follow. I nearly just pulled my desk on me. But I don't know why, I just had a bad feeling about this. And this game, I mean, let's just look at it. Now, again, I've not played it. I've heard it's an okay game. But on the left, you see a cutscene from a trailer. On the right, you see what the game actually looks like. Now, graphics aren't everything. If you're not going to make a graphically good game, just don't try. You know what I mean? Just pick a different art style. There's billions out there. That's fine. But the reason I didn't trust this... You be soft. You be soft in the pants when you play this game. That was good. I'm proud of that one. How, how do you go from A to B? Who... Who can work that out? Not me, and I'm not a game developer, and I'm far from... One fucking thing I can't stand is the pricing. Games, I think, should be, you know... It's not like game developers don't make millions. You know what I mean? How much money do you fucking need in your back pocket? Because, you know, the money doesn't go to make new games. It goes to the pricks at the top who put it in their back pocket. So you could have paid $130 for three days early access, which if you did that, I'm sorry, you're kind of getting what you deserve for being a dum-dum because you should never ever do that. Never mind do it with a Ubisoft game, which have had more flops than... Everybody do the flop! Everybody do the flop song. You know what I mean? Kill me. Star Wars early access players will lose all their progress. Due to a day one patch, Ubisoft has asked all Star Wars Outlaws early access players to start with a new file save. So you spent three days early grinding, you know, trying to beat the game. All right. You probably couldn't do it because every time you drove the buggy, the bike thing, whatever it is, you fell through this fucking planet. And now they're telling you to enjoy the game delete the save that you wasted all this time on as developers have asked players to update the game with a day one patch and start fresh with a new save what a joke so you give us all this extra money to play early i hope they get refunds they should fucking do that because that's a disgrace and now they're saying oh well you bought it early but we 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 kind of were three days too early so you kind of paid for the you paid for the beta basically you paid an extra double to play it the beta Let's break this down. Standard edition, $69.99. Gold edition, $109.99. Ultimate edition, $129.99. Now, again, let's see what you get for, for you know, almost... Quick maths, Harrison. 30 at 30 is... $60 more, 60 big Wonga, so you could basically have bought another game and instead you paid double for the same game. You know, if you did that and then have to delete your save, I'd honestly think karma's real. Like, I just think God is not on your side at this point. So you get the base game, which is nice of them, or base game. <laughs> you know, if you get the base game, you get you get half a game, you know what I mean? You get a game that you can't really play. Pre-order bonus, brilliant. Three days early access, oh my God. Season Pass. Hell's bells. They're bringing DLC out for this shit. Good luck. Sabak Shark Bundle. So you, you get to dress up as a shark. Who knows? And you get an art book. But not a physical one. One on your computer. That stinks, boys. That is stinky. Stinky. You pay seventeen ninety nine a month. I don't get why more people don't just do that. You know, when, when Starfield came out, I just bought one month of... Uh, Xbox Pass, just to see how it was. I was like, this is just boring. So I didn't pay $70, I spent $10 on it instead. I felt like a hero. I felt like I should tell my story to the world. I almost felt like writing a Bible just on how much money I saved, not buying the game. And if you don't believe me how god awful this is, let's just pay attention. So it's a stealthy game. You've got to sneak around, shoot people, do cool stuff. What the fuck was that? What was that? Oh, that was a lame ass kick, wasn't it? So they could take five blaster bolts to the head, but you can kick them with your toe and they drop. Terrible. 
Here we go. Oh, look, walking, but... Yeah, take cover. This guy might shoot you, really. Honestly. Hide! Run! He's the most lethal enemy in the game! Wow, cuz. Wow. Now, I liked Star Wars Fallen Jedi 2. What was it called? Star Wars Jedi... Or Fallen Jedi? Jedi Fall... I don't know what it was called. I think it was Fallen Jedi. Wrong. That was great. It had a few bugs, but you could play through the game. How are you meant to sneak past Mother Hose whilst the game is like that? It's a joke. And then you charge $130 and then tell them, oh yeah, all that all that time, 20, 30 hours you put into it. You mind doing it again just so, you know, the game can run how it was meant to run? Huh? What is that? You don't buy a film and you're missing the first 10 minutes of it, do you? No. You don't buy a ready meal and it's missing the rice, do you? So why is it acceptable for gaming to push out a game like that? Tell me. Now, bugs, I love a bug. There is nothing wrong with it. You know, a few little glitches here and there. That is what gaming is. It makes it fun. You know, some of the funniest clips online are when you have daft, silly little things that happen. That is, not, that is like game breaking. And then if that wasn't enough, you know, you could get pie it. You know, you could restart your save. Okay, replay the last two minutes. That's fine. But restart your whole game after you gave more money to play it early. I mean, that is absurd in my book. That is like scamming. You know what I mean? If you someone came to your door and gave you a game that did that, you were, you've been robbed. You have been blindsided by a try that again by a sleazy sale snail sales. Fuck, what am I saying? A sleazy salesman, and instead, because it, it's got Ubisoft, Ubisoft. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Fuck Ubisoft. Like, what What was the last shit they brought out that anyone liked? Let's see all these news. Review, review, reviews are here, and they are good. So it's an okay game, if you can get past it. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is, why does she look like that? How can you charge double the price and then ask them to redo hours of content? It's absurd. Look, again. How can you complain when you've not played the game? I can complain at you Muppets for buying the game and falling for this con. You fell for it, not me. Don't hate because I saw it one year ago when we saw the trailers. You should have seen the red flags. Fucking hell. Beach of Normandy, white flags are out. Jeez. Anyway, if you have played it, let me know. Is it a fun is it worth playing on Ubisoft Plus? Or is it worth playing in a year's time when it's, you know, fifty percent off and you get all the DLC for, you know, probably a quarter of the price of the hundred and thirty dollar one? You let me know. Yeah. Good, because I'm I'm not going to find out myself. No, I'll joke aside, thank you. Again, the point of the video, how can you pay that and then tell them to restart the game? It's a joke.